All right, sitting in at Blackpool Seat, showing around this Cooper Formenta V1 that we have in stock. It starts a 1.5 litre petrol, finished off in magnetic grey. But you say it lighting, daytime running lights at the front. There's lovely diamond cut alloys on the car, five spoke. This car's on a 70 plate, it's done just under 10,000 miles. It's currently on its private registration that it was part of exchanged into. That will be getting changed prior to the sale of the car. Walking around to the rear of the vehicle. Got your light bar going across the rear of the car. Cooper letter even blacked out on the back of the car as well. So this car's for sale here at Blackpool Seat for part of the Coxmo Group. Privately owned family run group of dealerships. We'll find other Coxmo Group owned sites across the northwest in areas such as Kendall, Lancaster, Southport, Wigan, and of course Blackpool. Our franchise deals include Honda, Seat, MG, and Volkswagen. The non franchise side of things include the Automarts. So you've got Blackpool Automart, Southport Automart, Lancaster Automart, and Kendall Automart. The Blackpool site, you've got us on the corner, Blackpool Seat. Next door to us, you've got Black Porter Mart. They sell a variety of brands of cars. Then next door to them, you've got the UK's only superbike store, which is Honda Bikes. Over across the road, you've got a flagship dealership, which is Blackpool Honda. And over in the distance, you've got the Paint and Body Shop Clinic, as well as the in-house workshop. So all used cars do go through body shop prep prior to sale. We also go through a nice and extensive workshop check to make sure everything mechanical on the car is working as it should be. Part of them checks, your brakes and your tyres are also checked during the 142 point check. As part of the used car programme here at Say, you get at least nine months MOT and at least nine months service, as well as two years used car warranty. Starting off at the rear of the car, got these handy little levers either side of the boot to fold the rear seats down in a 60 40 split. Also got a double level boot, which slides forwards and lifts up a bit. So your seats fold almost completely flat, making it very pet friendly if you do have pets. Moving on to the rear interior. Got plenty of leg room for your rear passengers. Got a half cloth, half leather interior. You've also got the copper stitching going alongside of the seats. Nice patterning down the centre and you do also have climate control for your rear passengers. Lastly, you've got this middle seat compartment which folds down, revealing a couple of cup holders for your rear passengers. Onto the front interior. Half leather, half cloth seats again. Stepping into the car, you've got a DSG automatic gearbox. Got an electronic parking brake and your brake hold. You've also got your child lock in the center next to the parking brake as well. Got a couple of cup holders just before that. And you've also got a leather armrest which opens up, revealing some more luggage space if needed. Got a push button start. In the center console tray, you've got a wireless phone charger. And you've also got a couple of power outlets, USB C power outlets. Got copper edges to all your air vents. You've also got copper stitching, which goes across the center console and, and the dashboard, as well as along the side of the doors as well. So moving on to the infotainment system, everything is touch sensitive. So you've got your climate control either side, which is all touch sensitive. And you've also got a volume scroller. Again, touch sensitive using the slide in of your finger. Moving on to the main menu, you've got your satellite navigation on the first option. Got all your shortcuts along the bottom as well. Got all your radio sources, including DAB radio. Bluetooth hands-free audio. Full link, which is your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and your mirror link, which is actually wireless on this car as well. Very nice feature to have, eliminates the use for any leads inside the car. And you've also got all your driving data, as well as your vehicle status. 
or the little Formenter logo in the bottom corner. You've got all your driving assists, which you can turn on or off. You've got your driving profiles, sports, comfort, and individual. And you've also got background lighting, which is very customizable on the last option too. Your climate control is all built into the infotainment system. So you can change that through the touch screen. Also, you've also got a couple of other background options at the back. You've got your sound settings. So also some infotainment system settings as well. Moving on to the speedometer and the steering wheel. So you've got your mileage confirmation just down there. It's on 9,794 miles. You've got a digital cockpit with this four mentor. Buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel do change how it's displayed. So using the view button, got a number of different displays. You've also got these buttons just here, which allow you to change what each part of the cockpit is displaying. You've got center, left and right. So you can select it and you can use the scroller to change what's displayed. You've also got a Bluetooth button. You've got a couple of media buttons just down here too. On the left hand side, you've got your volume scroller for your media, but you also have your cruise control, which is adaptive, adaptive cruise control. You've got a speed limiter and you do also have your driving assist shortcut, which brings it onto the cockpit and you can turn on or off all your different assists on the cockpit. You've got all your wiper settings on the right hand side stalk. On the left hand side, you've got your indicators and your main beam, four beam as normal. Down to the right hand side of the driver, you've got your touch pad to change all your light settings, including your daytime running lights. On the driver's door card, you've got electrically adjustable mirrors as well as foldable and heatable mirrors. And you've also got electrical windows for all four windows. The status of the car is available here at Blackpool Seat. If you'd like to know any more information on this car or any finance options available on this car, please contact the sales team. They'll be more than happy to help. Hope you enjoyed the video and we hope to hear from you soon.